Hey guys, welcome back to a new episode of Our Solutions TV. I'm Doug Hanks. And I am Lakshmi Nambori. So today we got a really nice episode around 100 gigs and the data center. And today we actually have a, a demo for you where we're going to show you our new QFX uh, 10002. So here uh, I'm showing you a fixed system. It's um, 36Q, as uh, Doug nicely mentioned, his uh, big brother of the one of the 10 k switches that we've released. And this particular box is uh, looks like a 2RU, but um, as you can see, the it's it's the ports are on the bottom row of the switch, and all of them are based on QSFP interfaces. So what we've done, um, we realized quickly um, three years ago that QSFP would be the form factor for all data center deployments. So we standardized our switches based on QSFP optics. So now uh, we give you full flexibility to either insert a a 40 gig optic or 100 gig optic because they're based on QSFP, same size, um, you know, from a form factor point of view. So and here I'm showing 100 gig optics options. So uh, the idea here is really to give you various options. Depending on size of the data center, you get to pick multi-mode or single mode. So obviously, as the bandwidth increases, the reach is decreasing, especially with the newer um, speeds like 100 gig. And as you go to 400 gig, we think that multi-mode uh, standard-based solution will allow us to go up to 100 meters using OEM4. So here we are showing a bunch of 40 gig options. So 40 gig is we've been shipping on our switches for a long time. So we have a portfolio of, uh, again, both single mode as well as multi-mode options here, along with a breakout or non-breakout. Uh, depending on the data center size and you know deployment, all right, awesome. So now, why don't we uh, pause here? We got a lot of information about our optics. We kind of introduced our spine switch, the QFX 10,000. Yeah. Um, obviously, it's going to be tri-speed, 10, 40, and 100 gig, a lot of different optics. So why don't we take a look at a, uh, this switch a little bit closer and see what the ports look like. We also have, have some optics plugged in here. Let's get a closer look at those. All right, guys, so what we have here is our QFX2 36Q switch, as you guys can see here. Now, obviously, we call it the 36Q because we have 36 ports of QSFP+, and we have various different optics plugged in here that we want to walk you guys through. All right, now let's take a look at our 100 uh, gig interfaces. Now, currently, we have this configured as a default of 40, as you see here. So, 0031 is uh, 40 for right now. So, let's take a look at the uh, chassis configuration, and, and we'll see we'll have an inactive uh, config here. And what we're going to do is go into configure mode, and we'll issue the activate command to activate this port into 100 gig. So, now, as soon as we commit this, the QFX switch is going to change this from 40 gig to 100 gig. All right, now let's take a look at the interface again. Now, what we should see is that the interface speed has changed from 40 uh, going to 100. Obviously, we have our configuration here. Uh, port 31 is set to 100, as well as port 35. Now, we take a look at the interface. Uh, we're going to see that it is set to 100 gig. It's going to be up. Um, all right, guys. So that was an awesome demo. So we changed our port speeds from uh, 40 to 100. Yeah. And it went back to uh, 40 to 10, 10 as well. Yeah. Obviously, we made sure the data plane works. We did some ping tests and things like that. Very simple configuration. And uh, it worked flawlessly. Yeah. So, so awesome a, demo. Yeah. So flip off a CLI. You can switch between speeds. And um, you know this is a beautiful switch. And I hope you have uh, enjoyed the show. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you.